our winter bucket list is back. Of course, it's always one of our favorites. Yes, uh, this may not be Margot's most favorite stop. I don't know. She's warming up to the goats. She's doing okay. I'm way too much already. She has a, a tough history with critters and whatnot, but uh, in Southington, she has gotten up close and personal, and so far, so good. And it looks like they're doing the yoga already. Yeah. Hey, guys. <laughs> I know, I lost my goat already. Good morning, I lost my goat. From Bradley Mountain Farm. Miss a morning, miss a morning, miss a lot around here. Uh, these aren't the yard goats I thought we'd be hanging out with. Good no. morning, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing well, I just have a goat atop my back. Uh, we are doing a lot of fun stuff with goats. Earlier, if you were following along, you may have seen us cuddling goats. Hi. Now we are doing goat yoga. Just one of the many offerings here as we are enjoying one of Southington's Hidden gems. Hidden gems. Uh, Terry is with Bradley Mountain Farm. You are the goat whisperer. I love you already. <laughs> Tell us about this experience. Well, goat yoga is a lot of fun. Uh, we do it here inside. It's nice and cozy in here. We have the pellet stove going. The goats love to jump on your back, so they love goat yoga. Why do you think that this is important for somebody to try? I mean, especially now when we're trying to find things to do, keep us busy during yeah. the pandemic. I mean, this, if nothing else, it's, it's a little a scary, lot fun. but it's, it's definitely putting a smile on our faces. Right, absolutely. It's fun. Um, it's healthy for you. You're moving around, you're getting exercise, and you're getting goat cuddles at the same time. And the personalities on these guys and gals are just so fun. Talk yes, about those. absolutely. They're very, very silly. They love jumping on your backs, and they're very playful and cuddly. And each one has a different personality. And they're actually much heavier than I thought. Mm -hmm. oh, they're man. very, they're very solid. But Keith is very strong, so it's yes, not bothering him. I'm very strong. Terry, <laughs> who is right for this activity? We're welcoming Erica back this morning from maternity leave. Moms, dads, anyone looking to get a little? Yeah, anybody. Uh, um, goat yoga is for 10 and up right now. Um, and, you know, if you have any back issues or anything like that, you could still participate in goat yoga. You don't have to have a goat on your back. Uh, a lot of goat. times they just roam around and you get to <laughs> practice at your own level. I don't think my yeah, I don't I, think my likes me. <laughs> I am I am very good at this. Margo, you have my microphone. <laughs> Kalingo. Uh, I am very, very good at this story. Uh, I think Margo's getting a little jog in this morning. <laughs> back. <laughs> we are on the move. I think I'm gonna start a Peloton class on goat yoga. Margo, come on back here. We'll send things back. Cleo, you're the best. <laughs> Get up there! Oh, with goat yoga this morning, Erica and Tim, you gotta join the club. How cool is this? There we go! Hi, bud! Hi, bud! Good right on up again. I love it. Fox 61 News. I love it. I wonder if it's like, okay, so my husband has Julia walk on his back. Yeah. I wonder if I should just get him a goat. I, I, I'm fine <laughs> with that, yeah. walk. Maybe it's like a massage. Eat a lot Ew. of the trash out of the house. And I, I've been telling you, I've been having back problems today. I could go right. for that right now. I know. You know, a little <laughs> Some, goat hooves, you know, <laughs> yes. rubbing it out for you maybe. Right, I don't right know. Right in the small of the back. Oh, yeah. I'd love that right now. <laughs>